Master Ken here with another secret street fighting tip. Now there's an old saying that goes, never bring a knife to a gunfight. In some cases, I disagree. Let me explain why. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a technique. I'm going to have Todd point the gun at me. I'm going to tell him to fire Bang. when I'm ready. And I'm going to demonstrate that if I use proper technique, that when Todd fires, Bang. when I'm ready, uh, that this uh, blade situation versus a gun can be uh, much more advantageous for me. Let's say someone uh, puts a gun to my chest. I hold up my hands. I happen to have two knives in my hands, okay? Maybe I'm being threatened in my kitchen, okay? Or maybe I work at a restaurant as a sushi chef. Or perhaps I own a knife store that's being robbed. I could also be a blacksmith that just made these. So I raise my hands, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to divert, I'm going to move offline of the bullet, I'm going to push the weapon away, I'm going to cut his radial artery, and I'm going to strike him with one of the knives. All in one move looks like this. Okay, at that point I'm going to slice up, I'm going to open up his throat here with the blade. I'm going to jam the blade into what is known as his mastoid process. I know that I'm in the right area. If I shove the blade in there and jiggle it around, I want to get rid of his voice box so that he doesn't scream while I'm cutting it up. You can tell if you're in the right place, just have your opponent make a little bit of noise like this. Okay, that, that, that means that I'm in the right spot. So next I'm going to cut the gun out of his grip and remove the blade at the same time. Here, I'm going to go into what is known as a bladed headlock. Here, okay, moving him into this position. I'm gonna take now long blade, switching short blade to long blade. I'm going to stick the knife in his ear. Somewhat equivalent to a wet willy. Uh, this is known as the sister of the wet willy. We call it a Bloody Mary. Uh, You're going to shove the blade all the way into his ear and then scramble up his brains. Then when you pull it out, he should drop like a sack of brain dead potatoes. Okay, so I'm going to tell Todd to fire. Bang! Not yet. And when I tell him to do that thing, I will demonstrate how two blades can be more dangerous than one gun. Ready. Set. Fire! Bang! Ah! So, that's why in Ameridote, we don't say never bring a knife to a gunfight. We say sometimes, don't ever always bring a gun to a knife fight. <laughs>